All right, what's up, guys? Brian here, B Free Productions. Um, today we're going to look at a flat of strings by Strezov sampling. This library is absolutely huge. I'm not going to be able to cover it on one video. Um, but here we go. So you can load up ensemble patches here. It has ensembles, first and second violins, violas, cellos, celli, bass, and then some experimental and sound design type pads here. There's a lot, a lot of content. Um, so one of the big things about this library is the polyphonic legato auto divisi. Um, and it's pretty awesome. It's really fun to load up and have that one patch and have the polyphonic legato. That's really nice. Um, so my other favorite libraries like Genesis, the children's choir from Audio Bro, um, that also has a similar type of polyphonic legato. And once I discovered that, I was dying to get a string library that could do it. And it can pretty much do it all here with this one. So I have this line here. Um, it's really hard to get a fast, not really fast, but a fluid legato sound with playing constantly just notes like this. I'll show you. Now it's not perfect, but this library does it pretty damn good compared to some of the other ones. This is Adia Century strings. Just listen to that again. You see how it kind of, before I deleted those, that kind of cut off there. You hear that, it kind of, it cuts off a bit too early there, it doesn't do it. Anyway, because, I mean, obviously, this is going to have its limitations um, when you're trying to do legato and all these different notes at the same time. Uh, perform for the most part, it's it sounds very natural. Out of the ones I have, it's not perfect, but... This is um, Jaeger. So as you can hear, I mean, it's not perfect. There's still like some volume jumps there. I've never had something that works perfectly with the legato without a volume jump. I mean, especially when you go, oops, the, the farther the distance between each note, I think it's going to do that 
worse. Okay, anyway, let's see what everything sounds like, like what you get when you open this stuff up. There's a lot of different combinations, a lot of kind of strange um, combinations you would not get. <laughs> So that you can hear uh, the, the sticks um, kind of slapping against the strings. There's a lot of like different effects like that. Um. So that is an alto sax in there, um, violas, cellos, alto sax, Christmas strings. You see, I mean, these are kind of weird combinations. You cannot isolate just the saxophone and, you know what I mean. Um, but, I, you know, it's kind of cool to have that. Um, I mean, a, a lot of these I probably wouldn't use. Um, also, some of them are labeled a bit bad see this is just contemporary strings it's all um shorts so you would not know that there's also very limited key switches um on some of the long strings um that are key switchable you will only have you will only be able to switch between tremolo and legato slash sustain so there's two key switches instead of doing one key switch for shorts one key switch from arcado, one for long, you know what I mean, or for pizzicato. They're all separated into different NKI files. That was one of my biggest complaints. Because, um, you know, with other stuff, like here, century strings, you can load up a ton of different articulations and key switch all on the fly, which I like, so you don't have to load up all these instances of contact. So... <laughs> Everything sounds amazing, though, very crisp, um, very detailed, and you get a lot of different ensemble sizes, which is really nice, you know? You get chamber sizes, huge Hollywood-type, lush uh, ensemble sizes, and everything kind of in between. <laughs> Forgot to mention, I had the reverb on there, just a small amount of reverb on there before.
woodwind strings. Not quite. Like staccato, almost really short marcato. Uh, Le Sacre? I don't really know how to say that. Um, so you heard my attempt. So there, as you can see, that's only marcato as well. Um, you know, there's a manual included that kind of labels all these things. It would be nice to have some more info in either the descriptors here or right here so that you know this is only marcato. You will just have to remember that. The one I've really used the most is this Lush Strings. Um, I used to always load up Hollywood Strings and for the full ensemble patch. In fact, let's open that and kind of compare the sounds. Full strings, I always used this one, or one of these three, the full string one, two, or three, or the um, one with the legato on the violins. So, let's just kind of compare these two. So we have lush strings. You can hear that really nice legato transition there. Um, it, it adds so much to it. It's not... These are way quieter. So I just linked that to my mod wheel for dynamics there. So that's Hollywood strings, no reverb. Here's the lush strings. Um, all that reverb's built in too. I think they sound amazing. Um, nice transitions.
so yeah it's really nice to be able to load up just this one thing um obviously you want if you want different dynamics and whatnot I just load up a second one but you know for quick stuff like this it's cool to be able to just play that that um cello line down there and still have all these other things playing and have this the nice smooth legato that you would get um with you know any of your other favorite libraries but it's also doing the um the higher notes as well So you have nice dynamic range, um, beautiful legato, polyphonic legato. So I really like those lush strings, is why I took a little more time with them. So. So here's a more chamber, um, chamber string sound. So pop low strings, another one of those kind of unique ones. Two cello, two celli, one bass. So it sounds like spiccato and pizzicato at the same time. I haven't really used those as much. That's what they sound like. Psychato high strings. Whoops.
string quartet just shorts there. Really nice detail there. strings 50 string ensemble again those are only marcado there so a lot of the demos showed like the really kind of soft and beautiful side of this library I think it's it can be very powerful as well um, that's why in my review I mentioned it could do just about any style and I mean it can it can do any string sound actually that's not true there are some missing articulations but like for what I use legato sustains spiccato or staccato and marcato that kind of thing it can do any string sound that I would possibly need um so I, it it does seem really uh niche with like the art design and the kind of the way it's marketed but I do believe I mean I know without any doubt you could make you know a full epic trailer track with this string library as well as something really soft and beautiful as well as classical to like a 1950s style film score <laughs> uh, but again some of these really should be labeled a bit better um, just know you do get the manual and it and it tells you all of this stuff so you're not left in the dark it they do explain this stuff in the manual um and there's not like pages and pages of technical crap it's laid out pretty straightforward what you get with each of these ensembles <laughs> Shark strings, jaws. So this is um, two pianos, ten celli, eight basses. Obviously going for the jaws. Oh, this is shark strings legato. Going for that jaws, John Williams. You know. Uh, this is one I really didn't 
to I didn't see a need to have all this stuff because most of us have piano libraries and the fact you can't separate them. I the Christmas strings with alto sax I thought was pretty cool. This one I feel is just you know kind of a gimmick like shark strings like jaws. Um <laughs> They sound good though. I just probably will never use them. The mouse strings is their pizzicato ensemble. Very nice and detailed. Almost sounds like a pretty small ensemble. It sounds more like a chamber, or almost even like a quartet, but not quite. Stick, nice pizzicato there. Undercover strings, five celli, three basses, two saxophones, and two pianos. sax in the background. Kind of gets drowned out by the piano when you play it loud. Vintage sounds in this are amazing. Oh, I forgot to mention, everything is panned um, in natural or orchestral seating, which is nice. So I noticed those cello were only coming out the right side, or not only, but it's, it's all naturally panned. sound with the vintage stuff.
Really nice stuff. Okay, now we're back to the top of the ensembles there. Violin, so you have chamber. Six violins there. This is Impressionist Violins One. Let me try to find my frickin' manual. Where are you? Okay. Should have come prepared with that one. Okay, trills. That's what it sounded like, obviously. Um, but yeah, that triggers a trill when you play this. for the Impressionist um, patches. So here's what I mean about the key switches. We have just two down here. Um, sustain legato. And then tremolo. Which is... You know, my two biggest complaints are the categorization, how they categorize this stuff. Um, especially with the ensembles, you don't know which one's short and which one's long. They really should be, say, ensembles and divided into subcategories, long, short, or even have more of a label on there. But again, it does tell you all of the articulations here, you know. Um, where are we? Yeah, individual sections. So yeah, there's spiccato, pizzicato for the violins, but specifically for the ensembles. This you will have to look at or just remember. Um, like Red Army Strings, Marcato with Molto Vibrato, I didn't know it had that. You know, you, you'll have to look at these and really dig into it. Not really dig because it's all right here, but it, they could be labeled better. And the limited key switches. It would be really nice to have 
load up lush violins and you could also have spiccato pizzicato all there um in one nki file i really like these harmonics really ethereal evocative sounds So I forgot to mention, um, all of these have, you can dis enable and disable legato, and then this overlap here, where you would say, on that first thing I was playing, how, when it overlaps right here, with polyphonic mode on, obviously it'll play both notes at once. If you disable the overlap, it will only it will cut off playing that last note. So that's your monophonic legato um, function right there. Some of them you can play fast with, some of them you can't. So this uh, scene de more um, is one is a really cool. You can hear the motion and and the the realism, kind of the soul in that sample. You hear the rebo there. Very soft, gentle sound there. So I've noticed that with lush violins, that's like your most standard Hollywood type sound. It allows you to play the fastest with the legato. It's probably my favorite one out of all of them. So this is just a kind of a loose, disorganized walkthrough of what you get. Um, let's go to experimental. Some cool extra stuff. Now this is going to be updated with um, some of... God, they... Sorry, you're going to have to go and look online. I'll post a link to it. Um, it's going to be updated with like the scene to more um, Chelly. I believe, and some other cool things, and they're also going to improve the playability of it. Um, before we get into this experimental stuff, I'll just show you, or a couple things I wish it had, was a speed knob for the legato, and also a legato volume. Um, that being said, it does perform very well. Um, you notice I had to... I've never had a library that just performs perfectly, and this is no exception, so I had to adjust the note when this they start.
and it's still not really perfect, but, um, anyway. So here's, uh, violins and choirs. Nice addition there with the choirs. That one's really weird. Oh, it's string clusters. Create your own cluster stabs. There we go. That's pretty cool, actually. A sitar there. <laughs> That's really cool. That's pretty cool. So these are so fun to play around with. As you can see, I'm having a ball here. It's like a war horn, yeah. Designed low strings. so many possibilities that really sounds like you know kind of a viking war horn or tibetan horn strings obviously Witch hunter strings kind of looks like the witcher there the creature or something like that pads these i didn't delve into m so much last time meaning the when i wrote the review and really played with it i did mess with them a little but they weren't my favorite They're actually really, really cool. So you have um, the texture. You can see the mixer here. Texture, synths, percussion, and effects all in there. So 
So that's really cool. Maybe I didn't uh, play with these enough last time, but they're just from that sound. It's pretty damn cool. I think there was a bit, when you have them all, I feel like there's a bit too much movement there. Um, because with just the texture, that sounds amazing. called Predator, it does sound like that kind of Predator vocalization from the movies. So yeah, some really cool pads in there as well. Um, so, again, I think the big selling point is Auto de VC, Polyphonic, Legato. It's it's still pretty darn expensive. Um, it's probably not an essential purchase if you have, you know, good string libraries already. Um, I know it, it is capable of emulating a lot of different sounds though, which is really impressive, and it's really really fun to play with. Um, and I like that I can just load up one patch and have it all right there. Like the strings I used before were were the 8th century strings. So they have such like a dry, well not a dry, but like a really close, intimate, detailed sound. And I mix them with like Jaeger strings um, or the Hollywood strings patch or like the, the full strings patch that I had here. But I feel like this can cover all of that ground um, and probably even do it a little bit better now it does need some work like the legato speed and and stuff but it, it still does sound the most natural out of all of i ha all that i have and this did not take me long at all to do look total time spent on it right here 2 hours and 6 minutes and that is including all of the time I've just talked to you. So really, I made this very, very quickly, probably in like a little bit over an hour. So it is a freaking awesome library, and I love it. Um, if you can afford it, it will absolutely add a lot. I do believe that. But I can totally understand if you can't afford it because it is expensive. But I know they're going to be updating it soon. Support has been really good with that. And you can hear right now what it sounds like. It sounds very realistic, very full of emotion, full of realism and soul. And I really love it. I just wish everything was labeled a bit better with the ensembles into short and long, like I mentioned. And again, if you, there's, there is some bloatware, meaning there's going to be stuff that you don't need, like those shark strings with piano or the Christmas strings with the alto sax, um, stuff like that. But really, it does pads, it does um, all your string needs and chamber strings as well. And they might be doing like a first chair thing for it. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, I can't really remember what all they're doing for it. But there's a quick walkthrough, a little comparison. 
Um, I am going to be doing more videos about this, especially when they release updates, and also this library here, Jaeger, is releasing an update where they are going to have Polyphonic Legato in a full strings patch. So I am very excited and eager to compare those two because this is quite a bit cheaper for a lot more instruments. Um, so I really am excited to see how those two can compare and offer you guys some more insight onto that. So um, for now, thanks for watching and take care.